Hello and welcome to Timmy Talks. In today's video, we will be making a maze on scratch. Let's get, let's start building. First, let's get our sprite. Get any sprite you want. I'll get a cat, as you can see here. Now we need a maze backdrop. So go on Google, search maze backdrop on scratch. Go on images, choose any backdrop you want. After you do that, Hover your mouse over choose a backdrop and go up all the way to upload backdrop. And whatever you put it in, click that. I put mine in downloads and then click whatever you named your maze. Click it and press open. And now that's your backdrop. And then click this little button here make a little big square around it and then make a square then make that wider and wider now we've made our maze and now we have a sprite now let's get our fast codes ready first we need to make the sprite go up and down let's do this Go on events and drag out four when space key is pressed. Now change one to up arrow, change one to down arrow, change one to right arrow, and change one to left arrow. Now, now you have all of your keys. Now for up arrow, go on motion and then Grab out a point in direction and change that to zero. And now drag out and move 10 steps and change the 10 to 5. And now your sprite will go up. Now we want to do the same for the, for the down arrow. Duplicate your blocks or just drag them out again. And for the down arrow, the 180, which is a 1, an 8, and a 0. And now the sprite can go down. And now do the same for the right arrow and the down arrow. But for the right arrow, it will be 90. And for the left arrow, it will be a minus and then a 90 and now your character can go up down left and right now we've made our sprite move now we need to make it smaller so it can enter the maze go click on size and change that to 15. Even though your sprite is small, it can still enter the maze. And if you want to, you can put next costume on all of these. So whenever you press it, whenever you press up, down, left or right, it will change its costume every single time as you can see in the to box i go up i go down i go left i go right and it keeps changing its character but if you don't want it to change its character don't do what i did but if you want it to be running go on costumes 
and click on cat B and just leave it like that. So now it will go up, down, left and right. Now let's start to code it if our cat hits the wall. First bring out a when greedy flag is clicked, just like that. Then go on controls and go on the for and bring out a forever block. And I want you to stay in controls and bring and bring out an if then block. It should look like this. It will have an if and then a little shape and then a then. Now let's go on sensings. Whatever the colour of your maze is. So first bring out this block right here on sensing. It is the second block on sensing. Then click click on the colour and then click this little button down here and then get the colour for your maze. So now we so now the sprite knows if it's touching that colour something will happen. So now let's go on motions, move ten steps, and change that to negative ten. And then if you want to, you can make it say bump by click putting out this book. and typing BUMP in all capital letters, just like this. So now, if our sprite hits one of the walls, it will say BUMP, just like this, this example. As you can see, it said BUMP. Now, let's go on to the next one. Our next code Our next code is when the green flag is clicked, it will teleport to where it's supposed to go. So bring out when the green flag is clicked and go in motion wherever put your character and press the right arrow and put it where you want to start where you want it to start and look at this one this is the x-axis drag th drag this block out, block out look at the x-axis if it's 20 feet for you put it on 20 if it's a negative 168 Put that in there. If it's not the same, just use the same thing. Put the x axis in here and the y axis in there. And now, whenever you press the green flag, it will go to that destination. But before we do anything else, we don't want it to be wonky and round. So let's put a point in direction 90. And now, if we move the little guy here and press the green flag, he would still be the same. And even if we did make him go backwards and up, he would still be facing the way he's supposed to go. And now, that's our first part of the maze. So now, what do you think we need to do next? Make an ending, correct. So, let's get another sprite, and let's get a home button. By clicking up here, and pressing home. H-O-M-E. Don't click the donut though, click the home. Now, you have a home. Make the home size 35 and put it at the end of your maze 
Mine will be right here. So now we need to write the code of the cat for the home button. So go on events and bring out when green flag is clicked. Go on controls, bring out a forever block, and then bring out an if then block. And then go put, go get an if touching mouse pointer and change that to home button. And then go on events and then bring out a broadcast message one. <laughs> go on new message and type win, which is W I N and N. So now let's go on our home button. Now, whenever the cat touches the home button, something will happen, but nothing will happen right now because it will just send broadcast win and nothing will happen. So let's say when I receive win, which is on events. And then it might say when I receive new message for you or message one, but make sure you did what I did before, change it to win, and then drag out when I receive win on the home button. Now, once you've done that, press hide. Go on looks, and go hide. The reason why we want to do this, is when it gets to the home button, we want it to celebrate. So, this will disappear, and then it will have a celebration in there. But, before we do anything else, we need to make sure we bring our when green flag is clicked, and go and looks again and get show because if we just went all the way to the home button and if it touches the home button and if it touches the home button all it will do is disappear so now if we press the green flag again it will reappear and now that's all the coding for our home button now we want to make our celebration so go on backdrops click on choose a backdrop and i would recommend you to go on a party backdrop but if you don't want to choose a different backdrop and just check sure that you don't have any other backdrops because it will be very confusing now, go on backdrops again, click on party, if you have party, or click on your party one, and now, let's start coding. So, first we want to make another sprite, but we aren't going to make, choose a sprite, we're gonna, we are going to make our own sprite. So click on choose a sprite, and press paint. It will show up with this. Then press a little T here. Change this to marker. Change that to black, which put the saturation to zero, the color to zero, and the brightness to zero. And then you have you will have black. Then put a black there and type winner, which is W I N N. E R and now you have a winner sign and if you want to you can make it bigger as big as you want and now let's see the code for the winner sprite so drag out 
first we need to make sure it doesn't have it doesn't show it when it's clicked so let's write when green flag is clicked go on looks and then drag out hide and put it underneath that and now whenever the green flag is clicked it won't show that now our second code is the same as this when i receive win in, you need to see it, so push, so drag out show, and then it has to switch costume, I mean backdrop, to party, and if it's on scratch space, just, change, just click on this, and then press party. Don't worry about any of these ones though, don't click on these, just click on party. And there you go, that's the code for that. And if you want to, you can make a little celebration sound. So go on sounds, press this little trash can up here so that sound doesn't come up. Then press choose a sound and then go on search dance. And then there's lots of dance sounds <laughs> like this one, this one, this one. This one, and as you can see, all the rest. Now, me, I would pick the dance celebration because I really like it. So, I'm going to get the dance celebration one, and then I'm going to put control forever, and then press sound, and then play sound pillar celebration until done so let's see uh oh we forgot but let's just drag our our sprite here and now it will say winner and then we have a win but remember what i said it won't go on the maze maze backdrop so let's fix that so Let's do this. Let's say let's go back on cat and then we're going to change this this code where it says when green flag clicked, go to X wherever your X is and Y wherever your Y is and put in direction ninety. So first bring out go to looks and then bring out a switch backdrop to and if it says party for you just click on party and then click on stretch moves <laughs> um we're not done yet if you want your character to be big when it's finished let's do this Go on events, press when I receive win, and then put go to wherever you want it to go. In my personal opinion, I would make it go to negative 16. For me, negative 16. And then I make it to go negative 91. If you have the same backdrop as me, you can use that. So now, when it receives win, it will go to that x axis and y axis, but we want it to be bigger. So go on looks, has 10 size by 85. It will say 10, but let's change it to an 85. So, whenever you press the green flag, it will go back on the maze for it, and whenever you go on the house, it will do this, and your character will be big again, and you can party with him. It will go upside down a few times, but let's just say we're having a party. Oh, we forgot something. 
We want it to change its size when it gets back. So put a set size to 15%. It will say 100%, but let's change that to a 15. And by my perspective, I think we're done here. Wait, not yet. If you want to start again, let's make a try again button. But before we do anything else, right click on your screen and press clean up blocks so it looks all neat and tidy. Now, let's go. Now let's make our another sprite. Press paint. Press this little circle button and make a circle however you want to make it. And then, go on this little T right here, click here, or wherever you are in your circle, and then type, I'll make sure it's not black as well, choose any colour you want, I would make it white, and then press play again. And then you can make that bigger and you can also make the circle smaller just like I'm doing right here and now it will show a play again button but before you do anything make sure you make you click this little button on the winner sprite and the try again play again sprite so now let's do the code for the try again sprite i mean play again but let's just do it so let's get let's just do this and let's see when i receive win When I receive win, let's press looks, and then let's press show, and then let's go on when green flag is clicked. Uh oh, I've done something wrong. Let me try that again. So, let's bring it up. When I receive win, show. And then prep bring out when this sprite is clicked. Wait one second, which is on control. And then after you do that, go on. Go on. Go on motion. I mean looks. And just for just the same as the cat sprite. And if you want to save time, how about you do this? Just remove this part here and drag this part in here. And then clean up the blocks again. But there's something wrong with that. We put when green flag is clicked. And we also did something wrong with this. We put costume instead of backdrop. So let's put these in the bin. Clean up these blocks for every single thing. And now we're done with our maze. Let's test it out. Uh oh, I think we've done something wrong. The cat hasn't gone on the blackboard. Let's see what's wrong. So, let's see. When green flag is clicked forever, if touching the colour, whatever your colour is, then move negative 10 steps, say bump. But that's forever. Hmm. Let's try again. How about we do this? Yep, now it's going to say bump, but 
but now it's saying bumped forever. Uh oh, I think we need to do something. Click on the green flag again. Oh, before you do that, click on the stop button, then click on the green flag again, and click on the stop button. And then, drag out a say, some hello for two seconds, and then do the same what you did, and type bump in all capital letters. And now, if it touches the black wall, hmm. Oh yeah, we forgot. Make sure to click the green flag before you do this, because it won't work. Now, if we go on the black wall, it will say bump, and, we'll move, and we will move back. But what if we do this? So let's say debump for zero seconds. Let's click the green flag again. Press the stop button and so green flag again it will say bump but to make it more visible let's do it for one second it will say bump hmm i think we've done something wrong maybe we should do it for zero seconds so bump for zero seconds let's press the green flag again the stop button and green flag again and then it will say bump and if you want to see it clearly, just walk into a wall a lot of times, I guess. And now you can see the bump clearly. And you finish the maze. As I'm doing right now. Which is taking a long time. Um. Dun. And now we have and then oh we forgot to move our play again button let's move it up here oh uh oh i think i pressed the green flag again let's try this again uh oh i forgot we forgot to do this we need to go on the vent when the green flag is clicked press on go looks and then press Go on hide, drag that out and put it on the green flag. So now, if you press the green flag, it went through. Now, just to make it quick, let's just move our sprite there. Let's go on here. And now, we're the winner! Now, if we play again... Wait, I think we've done something wrong. Uh-oh, I know. Look, when the sprite is quick, wait one second and switch the backdrop to scratch mate. We need to do this again. First, we need to put hide. So then when you click this right, <sighs> just again and again and again. Let's just do this quickly. So when you click this right, it will, you know, just go to where it's supposed to go. But then we need to do the same again, which is really taking a long time. So we could just make it quicker by doing this, going on your cat sprite, and dragging out this, and don't worry, it will stay there. Just do this, go to sprite 2, and then drag it all the way here. So, to make it quick, oh, let's go in here, play again. Hmm, I think we've done something wrong. Oh, never mind. We just put it wait for one second. But now it hasn't gone to the space it's supposed to go, and it hasn't turned smaller. So let's do that real quickly. Put, go and looks, and then set size to fifteen percent. So if we do this quickly again. We will have the play again button. If we click it, it will, will probably go where it's supposed to. Hmm. Maybe we've done something wrong. Wait, no, we haven't. Now you've completed your maze. 
Wait, one more thing. We need to go on the winner sprite. And then... Hmm, I think we've done something wrong. Whenever we press the green flag, and go on here, and press play again, it still shows. So, I think we need to do one more thing. Don't worry, it won't take that long. Now, let's put... Let's get... Let's... Let's do another thing. Broadcast. A new message. And call this whatever you want to. But me personally... I would call it... Hmm. I'm not sure, but let's just call it A. Just so we can save time. And then when we when this sprite is quick, it will broadcast A. When the winner sprite receives A, it will hide. And now let's test out our maze. Which <sighs> Surely, you know, if it bumps into a wall, it will get the bump sign. And let's just go to our finish. And now, if we play again, hmm, let's see what we did wrong. Oh, that's it. But it teleports us somewhere else, which we don't want. So, let's do this. We put go to 20, 168. Hmm, have we done something wrong? No, I think we just made it a bit too big. But that's it. That's all for today. Like and subscribe and remember to click that notification bell. Timmy Talks out.